Although state pension payments technically come to an end when someone dies, there are some circumstances under which you can receive an extra state pension payment after your spouse or civil partner's death. There are some conditions though, and it depends on when your spouse reaches their state pension age. If your spouse or civil partner reached state pension age before the 6th of April 2016 and was therefore receiving the basic state pension, you will be able to claim some of their additional state pension on top of your own if they were in receipt of one. That's the additional state pension. If they had already died by the 6th of April 2016, then they have to be of an age that meant that they would have reached state pension age on or after that date. The additional state pension is complex. So let's spend a a few moments understanding how it works. It's an extra amount of money someone can get on top of their basic state pension if they are a male or a man born before the 6th of April 1951. If you're born after this date, you automatically get the new state pension. You can no longer build up any additional state pension, but it's an important part of the pension payment you may get when you reach state pension age and your deceased spouse may have been in receipt of it. The additional state pension had different names over the years. If you were paying in between 1978 and 2002, it was called the State Earned Related Pension Scheme, or you may be familiar with the term SERPs. And you could only pay in and build up your eligibility if you were working. From 2002, it was called the State Second Pension, and more people were able to build up their eligibility to that, including people caring for children whilst claiming child benefits and people claiming carers allowance. In a nutshell, if your spouse reached state pension age before April 2016, they will probably be receiving a combination of the basic state pension and the additional state pension. The amount they actually receive depends upon a number of factors, including whether they opted out of the state second pension and how many years they paid national insurance for. But it's up to £185.90 a week in the 2022-23 tax year. The additional state pension is automatically paid alongside your basic state pension. Working out exactly how much someone is eligible for is complex because different systems were in place during different periods of time. Furthermore, if you contracted out of the state second pension, you would not have built up any benefits or you'd have built up a second benefit in your occupational scheme or a personal pension. Working out how much of your deceased spouse or civil partner as additional state pension you will receive is also complex because it depends on whether it was a SERPs or state second state pension. So if you check out the links in the description below for getting in touch with the pension service to find out whether you've got an eligibility there. Now, if your deceased spouse reached state pension age on or after the 6th of April 2016, they will have been in receipt of the new state pension and you will be able to inherit part of their protected payment. The protected payment is the amount above the new state pension of £185.15 a week that reflects any additional state pension they have accumulated over the years. This is the element that you could inherit. Any additional payment will be paid along with your state pension. It perhaps goes without saying that you must also have reached state pension age to be able to benefit from any additional payments. It's also important to understand that if you remarry before reaching state pension age, you won't inherit any of your deceased spouse's state pension benefits. If you're unmarried or not in a civil partnership when you die, your state pension payments will stop and there won't be anything for your beneficiaries to inherit. Benefits can't be passed on to children or anyone else you nominate. Only your husband, wife or civil partner can qualify. To be sure of how these rules apply to you and your personal circumstances, you need to speak to the pension service to see what the options are. I'll put a link to how to contact the uh, pension service in the description below. Thanks, as always, for checking out my YouTube channel. I'm Justin King. I'm a chartered and a certified financial planner. 
And my aim is to help people live successful lives. And in my experience, this often involves understanding your money. I host a podcast called the Retirement Cafe Podcast. You might like to tune into that. Again, you can check out the description below to, or sign up for my weekly newsletter, which is packed with inspiration and tips for a successful retirement. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please press the like button to help more people like you find my channel. And of course, subscribe so you can keep up to date with all new videos that we put out. For now, I'm Justin King, helping you live your best life.